Hey everyone, it's Deanna. Today, we're diving into a creepy crime story. Stick around for the chilling details. The harrowing tale that unfolded in the quiet neighborhood of Edgewood reached its climax as Tanisha Siena, a resident of Mahonia Way, faced the consequences of a crime that shattered the tranquility of their community. In a courtroom heavy with emotion, the gavel fell on April 21, 2015, sealing Tanisha's fate with a maximum sentence of 50 years behind bars. The charges, second-degree murder, and the use of a handgun during a violent crime, reflected the severity of the domestic tragedy that had befallen George Moore, a man whose life was entwined with Tanisha in ways both intimate and familial. George Moore, an esteemed electrical engineer employed by NASA, was not merely a victim in this heart-wrenching narrative. He was the partner with whom Tanisha shared a home and the father of their two children. His untimely demise sent shockwaves through the tight-knit community on Mahonia Way, leaving neighbors and friends grappling with the incomprehensible reality of a life cut short within the confines of domesticity. As the wheels of justice turned, the Harford County Sheriff's Office took the lead in unraveling the intricacies of this tragic tale. The investigation meticulously pieced together the events leading up to Moore's death ultimately pointing the accusatory finger at Tanisha. The courtroom, a stage for the culmination of months of legal proceedings, became a crucible where the weight of evidence bore down on Tanisha, leading to her conviction. This week's sentencing marked the final chapter in a saga that had gripped the community, offering a semblance of closure to the anguished hearts that had followed the case. The judge's decree, imposing the maximum 50-year term, sent a resounding message about the gravity of domestic violence and the irrevocable consequences it can inflict on families. The sentence was not just a legal formality, it was a societal proclamation that such acts, especially within the sacred bounds of a home, would not be tolerated. The echoes of George Moore's life, a brilliant mind contributing to the scientific endeavors of NASA, will resonate through the memories of those who knew him. His legacy now intertwines with the somber tale of a domestic murder that, for a brief moment, held a community captive in grief and disbelief. As Mahomia Way strives to heal and rebuild, the solemn pronouncement of justice serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the imperative to confront the dark shadows that can lurk even within the most seemingly idyllic corners of our existence. Amidst the weight of legal proceedings, the courtroom transformed into a poignant stage where the bereaved family of George Moore laid bare the emotional aftermath of his tragic departure. Joanita, Moore's grief-stricken mother, offered a window into the daily struggle she faced, sharing with the court her heartfelt prayer for the strength to be a pillar of support for her grandchildren. Her words painted a vivid picture of a grandmother determined to fill the void left by the absence of their parents, embracing the solemn responsibility of guiding them through the challenges of life. Georgette, Moore's sister, echoed the sentiments of loss that permeated the family's collective heart. Her testimony conveyed not only the personal devastation experienced by each family member, but also the profound impact on Moore's children, who were abruptly denied their father's nurturing presence as they navigated the delicate journey into adulthood. The courtroom, typically a bastion of legal formalities, became a space where the human toll of the tragedy was deeply felt and acknowledged. The ripples of sorrow extended beyond familial circles to the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, where Moore had dedicated his professional life as an electrical engineer. Colleagues mourned not only the loss of a skilled engineer, but a valued member of their close-knit scientific community. In a collective statement, they underscored the personal tragedy suffered by the Moore family, while also emphasizing the broader societal loss of a mind, whose contributions had tangible benefits for scientific progress and the nation as a whole. At the forefront of the legal pursuit of justice were the dedicated individuals from the Harford County State's Attorney's Office. 
Deputy State's Attorney Diane Adkins Tobin and Assistant State's Attorney Allison N. Healy led the charge, their commitment evident in the thorough and collaborative nature of the investigation. The Harford County Sheriff's Office, working hand-in-hand -hand with the prosecution, exemplified the determination of law enforcement to confront and rectify the scourge of domestic violence, a commitment that echoed through the courtroom and resonated with the broader community. In the wake of this heart-wrenching trial, the echoes of George Moore's life continue to reverberate through the collective memory of those who knew him. Beyond the legal verdict, the profound impact on his family, friends, and professional colleagues serves as a stark reminder of the deep scars left by domestic violence and the urgent need for societal vigilance in addressing and preventing such tragedies. The culmination of the trial and sentencing in the Tanisha case not only provided a semblance of closure for the community, but also cast a somber light on the intricate web of complexities surrounding domestic disputes. The courtroom proceedings, laden with emotional testimonies and legal intricacies, underscored the devastating consequences that can unfold when conflicts within the intimate sphere escalate to irreparable levels. Families, once united, find themselves fractured and communities are left grappling with the aftermath, contemplating the fragility of the sanctity they hold dear. As if to emphasize the pervasive nature of such tragedies, another incident unfolded in the heart of Edgewood, drawing attention to the interconnected threads of domestic strife. Tanasha, facing trial for the murder of her ex-boyfriend, George S. Moore Jr., entered the legal arena with a plea of self-defense. She maintained that she shot Moore within the confines of their shared residence, arguing that her actions were a response to a perceived threat. However, the courtroom drama unfolded over six intense days, revealing layers of complexity and challenging the narrative presented by Tanisha. The Harford County jury, after careful consideration of the evidence presented during the trial, rendered a verdict that contradicted Sienna's claims of self-defense. The deputy state's attorney, Atkins Tobin, played a pivotal role in dismantling the assertions put forth by the defense, presenting a compelling case that highlighted inconsistencies and refuted the narrative of imminent danger. The jury's decision, finding Sienna guilty of second-degree murder and committing an act of violence with a handgun, serves as a stark reminder that the legal system is tasked with unraveling the intricate truths surrounding such cases. It reflects the complexities of parsing through conflicting accounts, reconstructing events, and delivering justice that balances the rights of the accused with the imperative of safeguarding society. In the aftermath of these trials, Edgewood finds itself grappling not only with the sorrow of lives lost, but also with a heightened awareness of the intricate dynamics that underscore domestic disputes. The legal system, represented by figures like Deputy State's Attorney Adkins Tobin, plays a critical role in navigating these complexities, seeking justice, and providing a framework for healing in the wake of profound tragedy. As communities reflect on these heart-wrenching incidents, the imperative to address the root causes of domestic strife becomes ever more apparent, reminding society of the collective responsibility to foster environments where conflicts can be resolved without resorting to violence. As the legal saga unfolds, the next pivotal moment approaches with the scheduled sentencing hearing for Tanasha, set to take place on July 2 in the hallowed halls of Harford County Circuit Court. This date marks a crucial juncture in the pursuit of justice offering an opportunity for the legal system to meet out the consequences commensurate with the gravity of the crime. The courtroom, a stage for the solemn pronouncement of justice, will bear witness to the culmination of legal proceedings that have sought to unravel the complexities and intricacies surrounding the tragic murder of George Moore. These cases, both the recent conviction of Tanisha and the ongoing trial of Tanisha Siena, collectively underscore the challenges inherent in confronting domestic violence and its catastrophic consequences.
The legal system assumes a vital role in navigating the labyrinth of emotions, motivations, and circumstances that characterize these cases, striving to provide a measure of closure for the victims' families while holding accountable those responsible for such heinous acts. The true crime narrative surrounding Tanisha's case has not only captured the attention of legal enthusiasts, but has also drawn the gaze of the wider public, including producers from the true crime show Snapped on the Oxygen Network. Known for delving into cases where individuals, often women, are suspected of committing violent crimes, Snapped is set to shine a spotlight on the tragic tale that unfolded in Edgewood. Sienna's conviction for second-degree murder and the use of a handgun during a violent crime has added a layer of complexity to the show's narrative, shedding light on the profound consequences that can result from unchecked emotions and domestic turmoil. Deputy State's Attorney Adkins Tobin, a central figure in the legal proceedings, unveiled a chilling aspect of the case during the trial. Sienna's reported rage upon learning that Moore was leaving her for another woman, as disclosed in the courtroom, added a poignant layer to the tragedy. The revelation of this emotional tumult served as a backdrop to the fatal shooting that unfolded, providing a glimpse into the complex interplay of emotions that culminated in a violent act. Sienna's subsequent sentencing minus 50 years, comprising 30 years for the murder of Moore, and an additional 20 years for using a firearm in committing a felony, underscores the gravity with which the legal system regards such actions. As Sienna navigates the appeals process, the case continues to captivate public interest, transcending the courtroom and entering the realm of true crime entertainment. In this convergence of legal proceedings and media attention, the broader societal conversation about domestic violence and its far-reaching consequences gains momentum, urging communities to confront the shadows that can lurk within the seemingly ordinary corners of domestic life. The intersection of true crime and reality deepens as the production wheels of Snapped Turn, delving into the tragic narrative that unfolded in Edgewood. The recent presence of the production crew in Bel Air signifies the expansion of the true crime spotlight onto the physical landscapes that bore witness to the courtroom drama. Filming B-roll around the imposing Harford County Circuit Court building, where legal fates are decided and justice is meted out, adds a cinematic dimension to the unfolding saga. The architecture itself becomes a silent witness to the gravity of the legal proceedings, and the weight of decisions that shape the lives of those involved. In a quest for authenticity, the crew extended their lens beyond the courtroom, venturing into the heart of the community. The decision to interview a first responder at the Joppa Magnolia Volunteer Fire Company underscores the ripple effects of such tragedies. First responders, often the unsung heroes in the aftermath of calamities, carry unique perspectives on the impact of violence within a community. Their accounts, woven into the fabric of the true crime narrative, provide a nuanced understanding of the broader repercussions that resonate far beyond the courtroom walls. Journeying into the Edgewood area itself, the crew sought to capture the essence of the murder scene, infusing the visuals with the stark reality of the events that transpired. The streets and residences of Mahonia Way, once the backdrop of domestic life, now serve as a poignant reminder of the fragility of normalcy and the darkness that can unravel within the confines of a seemingly ordinary neighborhood. The anticipation builds as the producers of Snapped Craft an episode that promises not only to dissect the legal intricacies of the case, but also to explore the emotional landscapes of those affected. True crime enthusiasts and the wider public alike will be granted a front row seat into the complexities surrounding domestic violence, as the episode promises to unveil the layers of human emotion, societal dynamics, and legal proceedings that converged in Edgewood. The projected air date within the next year adds an element of expectation, with viewers poised to witness the synthesis of facts and storytelling that characterizes the true crime genre. As the episode takes its place in the broader cultural conversation, 
it not only memorializes the events in Edgewood, but also serves as a catalyst for reflection on the societal responsibilities and challenges associated with confronting domestic violence. The convergence of media and real-life tragedy, exemplified by SNAPT, extends an invitation to communities to engage in dialogue, foster awareness, and work towards preventing the recurrence of such heart-wrenching narratives. Thanks for joining today's crime journey. I'm Diana, your guide in the shadows. Subscribe, hit the bell, and let's keep exploring mysteries together. Stay curious, stay alert, and see you next time. Take care.